just clean the oil pan out. Just uh, use one gallon jug, oil jug. Start with a clean oil container. Slide it under the motorcycle. Usually long ways better. 3H drive ratchet with a 12 inch extension and a 5 inch deep well or shallow socket will work either one. Doesn't really matter. What you'll do is crack this loose. Completely remove the oil plug. And we haven't removed the dipstick yet and I'll show you why in a minute. It just saves the oil from coming gushing out at you. What you want to do is set your oil plug bottom side down on a clean rag. You've already removed the drain plug. Now you'll come over and move the dipstick. It takes a little bit to get it out. Normally I'll hold the rag under it to keep it making a mess. Just sort of visibly look at your dipstick to make sure you ain't got no, nothing debris or anything. And then just lay it on a rag. Oil wrench with the cutout for the crank sensor. It will fall in behind. Sort of at the sometimes wiggle it in there. Make it make sure it's fully seated on the filter. Take your ratchet with your extension. Usually one turn will do it. Remove your extension. Remove your filter wrench. No, I didn't have to fully seat it, that's why. If you can't get it off, just spin it all the way off with the filter. Either way is good. Bring your filter out. Notice the surface. What I do is I'll take a rag and just wipe the surface. Invisibly look, make sure you don't have any trash or residue or anything in the oil filter mount. Wipe the threads off. Visually expect everything to make sure you don't have anything in your way. At this point, you'll open your new filter. Visually inspect the new filter just to make sure everything looks good. The rubber O-ring is clean, not gouged or pinched or anything. Then at this point, I pre-fill the filter. The reason for this is to keep you from developing an airlock in your oil system. What you'll do is just fill it enough to where it comes up onto the top of the filter. Take your index finger and wet the rubber O-ring with oil. That helps seat it onto the housing. At this point, you will reinstall your filter. And you don't have to go crazy tight. People have a tendency to over tighten filters and it's not necessary. Usually what I'll do is clean my hand, wipe my hands clean real good. And just hand tight, as tight as you can tighten it with your hand. It's gonna be plenty tight enough. A lot of people put wrenches on there and it's really not necessary. If you're in doubt, you can, uh, but it's really not necessary. All right, the drain plug we removed earlier. What you'll do is take a clean rag, clean it thoroughly. The end has a magnetic tip to pick up any debris. Uh, just clean it off real well, inspect it. Make sure everything looks good, no big particles, so on and so forth. There's an O-ring. I'll take a pick. Remove the old O-ring and discard it. Check your threads just to make sure there's nothing on them. Install your new O-ring. There's a chamfer in there that it'll sit right in, so all you have to do is roll it to the bottom and it will sit in place like so. Once you've done this and you see you have no issues, no debris, anything, slide your oil pan 
to the back or just out of your way anywhere. And then what you'll do is reinstall the drain plug. When you're reinstalling this drain plug, you want to feel, make sure it goes in real free. Uh, if it doesn't, remove it and clean the threads. The best way, or the way I do it, is I'll run it in finger tight till it seats against the O-ring. And I will take my 5H socket with my ratchet and extension. You don't want to over tighten it, but you want it nice and snug. You know, pretty good little snug on it. You don't want to go crazy and strip anything. But a nice little snug fit where it bottoms out the O-ring. Then take your rag, wipe off your oil pan, any residue around the plug. Usually wipe the lift off too, but uh, just clean all this area and then you're pretty much done with the drain plug area. Right now you will take a small funnel. If you don't have a funnel, if you don't have a funnel, an old 20 ounce bottle will work fine also. And what you want to do, we have a funnel, but if you don't have a funnel, you can always make it. Place your funnel in the top of the oil tank. Pour in your oil. <coughs> nice and slow, no hurry, you don't want to make a mess. But usually what I'll do is I'll leave a half a quart in the last bottle. Remove your funnel. Again, wipe off your dipstick just to be sure. Clean around the edge and get a little seal here and then reinstall the, the dipstick. Make sure it's pushed all the way into the tank. At this point, we will cycle the bike, let the oil go through the system for probably 30 to 45 seconds, somewhere around in that area. At that point, shut the motorcycle off. Remove your dipstick. Wipe it off. Give the motor about 15 seconds to let the oil drain back down. And then reinstall your dipstick to check your levels. And as I said earlier, I leave about a half out. That will show you that we're about a half, which is what I left out. But it's uh, easier to add than remove. So now we'll go back and add our last half of pork. You've added your last half of cord. You'll again wipe your dipstick off. Reinstall. Let it set for a few seconds. Once it's set for a few seconds, then just recheck your stick. And it should be to the full on the hot mark, which this bike was already warm when we started. Once you're up to level, you've checked that it's level, reinstall your dipstick. At this point, you want to wipe, clean all your surfaces, especially the exhaust, because once this is on there and the exhaust is hot, it will be on there for the life of the motorcycle. Uh, so it's a real good idea to take a clean rag, wipe everything off real good. Once you've done that, have successfully changed your oil.